Last season I posted a couple videos sharing my experience using this product, this Empro Clear Iron 5% solution. And my application technique was using this ortho hose end sprayer. And I did two different applications, one at the label rate, which is one ounce per thousand square feet. Uh, and I also followed up uh, a few weeks later with a second application of three ounces per thousand square feet. And to be quite honest, I wasn't really impressed with the results. Now I did understand at the time that having a higher soil pH of, in my case, 7, 7.1, a lot of nutrients are actually bound up in the soil and just not really available to the plant. And I thought at the time that doing the application via the hose and sprayer would allow for enough of the iron product to actually make contact and uh, stay on the actual grass blades themselves for absorption into the plant. Uh, however, I feel that's just not the case. And uh, just further supported when I was starting to study the topic a bit more and looking at university studies, I came across one particular study which looked at uh, various iron products and how readily available they are from the soil and for how long based on pH level. And really a particular product like this that's derived from iron citrate has very little availability to the plant from the soil. So uh, I did have some comments at the time to the videos where others were suggesting uh, using a pump spray or a backpack sprayer. So, you know, I also too was curious was, would it make a difference if I did a more direct foliar application? And what I mean by that is a lower volume of water during application. So when using the hose end sprayer, in my case, I was putting out about four gallons of water per 1,000 square feet versus if I were to go ahead and use a backpack sprayer, I'm actually only applying the product with one gallon of water um, at also a smaller droplet size too, right? Because that hose and sprayer puts out a very coarse, large droplet, which very quickly can run off the blade into the soil. So I think I was wasting a lot of product to the soil uh, in those previous videos that I showed you, but uh, I went ahead and tried it again. And this time I used my backpack sprayer and I applied at the label rate, one ounce per thousand square feet in one gallon of water. And I can tell you, it really does make a difference. Um, even after the first day or two, I saw a significant change in the color of the grass. Whereas uh, using the hose end sprayer at the one ounce rate, hardly any response. And it wasn't until I applied at three ounces uh, per thousand square feet, which is three times the label rate where I, any, where I saw any kind of significant response from the lawn. So I can honestly say that a backpack sprayer, pump sprayer, something that will apply the product, the liquid product in a uh, lower volume, so less water, uh, which would allow for more of that product to have contact with the grass blades. In those cases, you will see better results, certainly if you have a higher pH level. So what you're seeing now are the actual results. I'm so showing you some before footage of what it looked like before application and then also showing you what it looked like after. And I think you can agree that uh, application via the backpack sprayer, pump sprayer is significantly more effective than using the hose end sprayer. So I just really wanted to follow up on those previous videos because uh, there were some comments suggesting the different application technique. Uh, I did apply it in that way and saw some significant differences. So I appreciate that feedback and hopefully this information is valuable to you. Take care.